Welcome Gators. I'm Ben Sass, and it is my great privilege, pleasure, and honor to kick off today as we celebrate Dr. Samoto. So good to see you, friend. I am sorry to report that Francis and Sachio married up, uh, as we know. Francis is under the weather today, so she is not going to join us for the ceremony, but she is going to watch the video afterwards. So let me just say, Francis, thank you for making this long trip. Uh, we are delighted that you are back in Gainesville as well. And we want to thank the two of you for your continued investment um, in the University of Florida in general and in engineering in particular. We have the great privilege today of together celebrating uh, the inaugural uh, Sachio Samoto Chair of Electrical and Computer Engineering and handing that chair or uh, recognizing the recipient and holder of that chair, Mark Taranapur. So please join me in a round of applause for this new chair. It is, it is good to have you in the room, friend. Uh, Satyo, as you all know, is a Gator great and an international leader in tech and in business. Uh, usually, when we get to be the age where you have as much wisdom as this man does, you decide to slow down, and he has decided to do the opposite. Uh, he's had two Trans-Pacific flights in the last 72 hours, and he plans to go again uh, because he's been investing in new programs in Cambodia, where he's helping restructure uh, engineering education education across that country as well. So here it is, alma mater. Dr. Samoto is continuing to lead. Um, the Sachio Samoto Chair of ECE is the first named chair at the Herbert Wertheim College of Engineering. And today's announcement provides us with a template for our engineering department to have increased international visibility and recognition and allows us to continue recruiting and retra retaining and celebrating and awarding our great faculty in that college. The University of Florida is committed to the future of electrical and computer engineering. We already lead in that space, but there's so much more work that we can do. So to Saccio and to Francis by video, Thank you for your investment in our students. Thank you for celebrating Mark. And it is now my privilege to invite to the podium our chair, uh, Dr. Forrest Masters. So it's my pleasure to stand before you here today to recognize one of the very best of us, Dr. Sachio Samoto. Dr. Samoto earned his Bachelor's of Science in Electrical Engineering from Kyoto University in 1966 and a PhD in Electrical Engineering from the University of Florida in 1971. Now, Sachio, he's not merely an academic. He's a trailblazing entrepreneur. You need to know this about him. With over three decades of experience in senior management roles within several leading Japanese telecommunications companies. His professional experience commenced at Nippon Telegraph and Telephone Public Corporation in 1966, where he stayed there until 1983. A true visionary, he played a pivotal role in reshaping Japan's telecommunications landscape. In 1984, he founded, co-founded Japan's first private telecom, telecom startup, DDI, now the powerhouse KDDI Corporation. I know many of you have traveled to Japan, so you know how big this company is. I remember going through Akihabara, and seeing KD, KDI phones back in the uh, early 2000s. It's a massive, massive operation. Sachio's impact extends far beyond the realm of telecommunications, currently serving as the chairman emeritus of Renova, a renewable energy power company headquartered in Tokyo. He helped propel Renova from a private startup to Japan's premier leader in renewable energy. The company, under his dynamic leadership, achieved the milestone of publicly listing on the Tokyo, excuse me, the Tokyo Stock Exchange in 2017. His influence is not confined to Japan, as we just heard from Ben. Sachio is an amazing partner to us here at the University of Florida, where his $4.5 million investment is helping shape the future of EC department and our college. Today, we stand here in Malakowski Hall, home of the EC department, and the Nelms Institute for the Connected World, whose director, Swarup Bunia, Swarup, where are you? currently holds a Dr. Sachio Samoto Professorship in Electrical and Computer Engineering. I'm also proud to announce that the EC Department Headquarters here in Malakowski Hall will be named the Dr. Sachio Samoto EC Headquarters Suite. I'll show you a photo of the location. Okay. 
as those of you know, if any of you are part of the departments, you know this is the heartbeat of the department, uh, housing everything from our conference rooms to where the departmental leadership uh, resides. Thanks to Satcho's recent generosity, our EC department now boasts the first named and endowed department chair in the Herbert Wertheim College of Engineering. We are deeply honored that Satcho's name will forever be associated with this pivotal position. Today, as we honor Satcho, we not only recognize a generous donor and a cherished friend of our college, but also celebrate his role as a living example of the transformative power of engineering and shaping our industries and changing the world. Now, I'm delighted to invite the inaugural Satcho Samoto Chair of Electrical and Computer Engineering, Dr. Brock, Mark Taranapur, to share his remarks. Thank you. Thank you, Forrest. Thank you, uh, President Sass, for being here. And you've been traveling quite a bit, and I'm sure there's a lot on your plate to get done. So we appreciate your being here, and uh, thank you, Dr. Somoto. Um, so uh, first, I'm, uh, I'm truly honored uh, to, be, to be here today to express my heart for gratitude uh, for a remarkable individual whose generosity has deeply impacted our department. Uh, today, I want to take a moment to recognize and thank Dr. Sachio Somoto for his extraordinary commitment to our department's excellence. So with that, if everybody would uh, stand up and uh, give a big thank you to Dr. Somoto. Well, um, you heard a lot about him. Uh, Sachio's um, dedication and support have been nothing short of inspiring, and his recent endowment of the EC department chair, as well as ECE uh, headquarters suite in Malakaski Hall are testaments to his unwavering belief in uh, power of education and innovation. Personally, as the ECE department chair and the holder of this endowment, I cannot overstate the significance of Sachio's uh, contribution. Uh, Sachio's commitment to our department resonates well with me. Anybody who have worked with me know how passionate and ambitious I am with regard to making this department to be one of the best in the country. And as a result of it, Sachio's contribution actually helps us tremendously in that direction. I believe this endowment will have a tr transformative impact on our department and its leadership indefinitely because uh, this is a position that becomes quite attractive now for many to become the chair of the EC department. The endowment of the EC department chair and the establishment of the Sachio Somoto ECE headquarters suite will, uh, will definitely uh, elevate our department to new heights. Sachio support will uh, enable us to attract and retain top tier faculty members provide unparalleled opportunity to our students and fuel groundbreaking research that addresses some of society's most pressing uh, challenges. Looking ahead, I am incredibly excited about the possibilities that lie ahead for our uh, department with such use generosity as a guiding light. Uh, I am confident that we will continue to push the boundaries of innovation and excellence in electrical and computer engineering. Sachio's legacy will endure uh, for generation to come, leaving an uh, I I indelible mark on our department and shaping the future of technology and education. In closing, I want to express my deepest gratitude to, Sach to Sachio and, uh, and uh, Francis by, by video for their remarkable generosity and their unwavering support. Uh, Sachio, your contributions will not only benefit our department today, but also serve as a beacon of inspiration for generations and, uh, to come. And um, I want to also provide a personal note. So Sashio, when I, I, I've been working with you over the past couple of years, and I consider you a mentor and a friend whose wealth of experience and dedication has been inspiring to me to think bigger and be more ambitious the, every day to make this department to be the best uh, it can be. So from bottom of my heart, I'm very careful if I get this pronunciation correct, uh, domo arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> and I'll try, I'll try one more as well to tell me if I got it wrong. Watash tachi wa onata ototemo hokoroni omaimasu. We are so proud of you. Thank you, everybody. With that... I'm going to hand it over to Dr. Samoto. Sure. My pleasure. Uh, 
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for awarding me such a kind of uh, uh, prestigious title, uh, especially our president, uh, Dr. Sase, uh, kindly attended here for the sake of this ceremony. I came here to Gainesville uh, from Tokyo uh, early this morning, arriving at 2, 2 a.m. here. Uh, two days ago, I was in Cambodia uh, to, because I became the president and chairman of uh, the high-tech uh, university called the uh, Kirilom Institute of Technology, which was financially disastrous. I try to uh, change and uh, innovate that school to become the leading institute in Asia to grow the, the digital uh, human resources. About a month ago, I visited Las Vegas, not for gaming, <laughs> Las Vegas where the CES, CES was held. You know CES? World largest computer exhibition show. This year, they attract more than 150,000 participants. Historic high. And uh, there are hundreds of booths represented by Amazon, uh, NVIDIA, uh, BMW or Toyota, Samsung. But which, what impressed me most by staying three days in CES was following. All the companies want to show the high edge of their technology, the best technology in the show. And can you imagine which was the best, most strong booth they presented? The company's name was LG, Korean company. Second was Amazon. And those companies, huge booth, the major, major topic of their presentation were Number one is AI. AI is not just technical words. AI is preparing all the society, including your everyday life. So AI is a very critical words to govern the current society. Second, I can talk maybe one hour on AI. So second, second, is semiconductor, semiconductor. And the third is green. Those are three keywords of today's most advanced technology keywords. AI, I cannot spend more time. Semiconductor is extremely important. If we look back the history of 20th century, all the century, all the words were controlled by one factor. That's oil. Oil. Oil controlled everything. Saudi Arabia, Exxon, BT. So oil was everything the basic, most important elements of the society. But the, my feeling is from 2020, that oil was replaced by something new. This is semiconductor. Semiconductor is going to become the leading factor for the coming 100 years. All, everything, this one, your PC, or smartphones, or TV, or your refrigerator controlled by 
by this semiconductor. Without semiconductor, no current technology as well as our lives could be supported. So in that context, semiconductor is replacing oil for the coming hundred years. And when we look back, US was the leader in semiconductor, like Motorola, Fairchild, but no more industry in the US in semiconductor. Same as Japan. Japan used to be number one semiconductor country. Toshiba, Hitachi, NEC, those are top leaders back in 2002, uh, year 2000. But they are gone. Mainland China, there are some semiconductors, but not so strong. So where is the most strong, strongest semiconductor company is? That's the TSMC. TSMC in Taiwan. TSMC is the only semiconductor producer in the world to produce two nano. No American company, no Japanese company, no Chinese company, no European company. Only Taiwan can develop and build two nano today. That's why Japanese government spent over $100 billion to make a plant learning from TSMC, install huge factory in Hokkaido and Kyushu. But 20 years ago, Japanese Toshiba, NEC, taught TSMC how to produce semiconductor. So many people say Taiwan is difficult between US and China, national security, um, difficult issues in Taiwan. We should not you know, take a very strong position toward Taiwan. We have to pay good attention to China. That's true. And many people may say that mainland China is going to bombard, attack Taiwan. I personally, I visited many, many companies, including TSMC, Chinese uh, semiconductor companies, and the US, and my conclusion is mainland China never attacked Taiwan. That's my focus. If they attack Taiwan, they will lose everything. They will lose the most important asset of greater China. So my thinking is mainland China will never destroy, bombard Taiwan. Taiwan becomes so important. It's not a country, it's a territory, but I, I, I presume Taiwan is to, going to become the most important strategic country coming years. So after CES, I visited Taiwan to see the top management TSMC. And two weeks ago, I was in Silicon Valley to visit the top management of NVIDIA and Supermicro, because those areas are center of AI, and Taiwan, center of a semiconductor. So I have a lots of connection with top management of top tier strategic companies management. And also, we should not forget the last one, green. Green is extremely important. For example, I met uh, my good friend of Sony's CEO the other day. Sony has to be provided all the electricity to manufacture all the equipment inside Sony by green energy. They cannot use a traditional electricity, electricity anymore because foreign clients, they do not buy Sony product made by a traditional bad, you know, gray, black energy. So green is going to become extremely important to support all your 
livelihood, all your society, and of course the battery, EV, is part of the green. The green is not restricted just battery. It controls uh, hydrogens and all kind of ions, all kind of things. Green becomes a key factor. So in this context, UF, especially ECE, has a very strong technological base, namely AI. UF has a very strong base of AI, so, as you know. And the semiconductor, many people who are here may not understand EC of uh, UF is one of the strongest department, like Dr. Fan and other leading Chinese uh, semiconductor research and faculties, Yoshi also. And uh, we should not uh, forget Dr. Sa, who was the founder of uh, semiconductor industry, he used to be a professor here when I was a student. So UF has an excellent story, history of semiconductor research and faculties. So out of three key factors, UF, especially ECE, can be proudly have a base basis of AI plus semiconductor. So as the alumni of uh, UF, I'm extremely happy. I'm conveying this kind of story to the top uh, Taiwan school called Tai National Taiwan uh, Taiwan Quante University. That's the best technical university who produces a series of top CEO of TSMC, other hundreds of uh, semiconductor companies in Taiwan. I became an honorary doctorate of that university as of this year because I said to the, all the top president and vice president of Taiwan that your country is going to become the world leader in 10 years. So they are much more excited by my comment. <laughs> but I firmly say that UF can be the leading institute in the US to support, encourage, and lead these industries. Not only in the US, but only in the world. So I like to uh, appreciate the very strong support of Dr. Sase. I like him very much. He's very young. <laughs> I mean, young means he can take much more risk. He can be much more entrepreneurial. Without entrepreneurship, nothing happens. Why Taiwan became the number one? Because there was a Morris Chang. Morris took the every, every high risk of investing huge amount of uh, investment to develop uh, uh, semiconductor. So I hope UF can take much higher risk, challenge, and try to change whole society starting from this campus. And I have 100% confidence that UF can become such an institution not only number five or number six institution, top institution, if we focus on these three areas. That's my comment and that's my message from Japan today. I'm leaving tomorrow afternoon to Japan and then in next day I fly to Barcelona, Spain. But don't, don't forget, I'm 81 years old. <laughs> Almost uh, two times of your new, new, new president. <laughs> but I can be active because I took risks. I, I, I enjoy taking risks. I, I enjoy working with young, young students like yours, young faculties, young entrepreneurs. 
I spoke too much. Sorry about Mark. <laughs> but uh, I'm so excited to be back to Gainesville, staying only 40 hours here. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. So Sacho, why don't you join us up here? We're going to sign the gift. Let's go this way. We're going to do the, uh, the gift, gift pyramid signing. Sacho, you want to come join me? Yeah. So <clears throat> by now, it should be very, very clear we're standing in the presence of a captain. So we needed to give, give him a captain's chair. What do you think? Come here, Sacha. This is your own personal chair, which we're going to keep here. To... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold on. And she, and, and she doesn't want me to tell you this, but Sarah made this for you. Poor Sarah. Yeah. She really wanted to do something special for you. So. There you go. Anyways. All right. Well, thank you so much. This has been an absolutely wonderful ceremony. Uh, we're going to conclude now, but we have refreshments outside. We hope you'll stay around for a few minutes and spend a little bit of time with Satya. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.